In this video, we have a very nice problem from British Mathon MPR. So it is given that Isaac attempts on six questions often on MPR paper in order. Each question is marked on a scale from 0 to 10. He never scores more in a later question than in any earlier question. How many different possible sequence of six marks can he achieve? So basically, Isaac attempts all six questions often on MPR paper. So suppose he scores x1 marks in question 1 and x2 marks in question 2 and similarly he scores x6 marks in question 6. Then it is given that he never scores more in a later question than in any earlier question. That means if he scores x1 marks in question 1 and x2 marks in question 2, then x2 is not more than x1. That means x2 is either less than x1 or equal to x1. And similarly, x2 is greater than equal to x3, greater than equal to x4, greater than equal to x5, greater than equal to x6. And there is one more thing given, that is each question is marked on a scale from 0 to 10. That means x1 is less than or equal to 10 and x6 is greater than or equal to 0. And we have to find how many different sequence of 6 marks x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6 can he achieve. So here there may be many possible cases. He can score x1 greater than x2 equal to x3, equal to x4, greater than x5, equal to x6, or x1 equal to x2, equal to x3, greater than x4, equal to x5, greater than x6. There can be many possible cases. So if we count total number of cases, then we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6 and between x1 and x2 there may be greater than or equal to and similarly between x2 and x3 there is greater than or equal to and here also either greater than or equal to greater than equal to greater than equal to so there is two possible way between x1 and x2 and two here two here two here and two here. So total possible cases is 2 to the power of 5 that is 32 cases. So we need to make 32 cases and then solve for each case. But making 32 cases will be very time consuming. So I will present a very awesome way to solve this problem. So here I have taken this 6 cross 10 a square box and suppose this represent question 1 and this represent question 2 and this question 3, question 4, question 5 and question 6 and the vertical boxes represent the marks. For example, if we expose 6 marks in question 1 then I will put 6 dot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and now in question 2 he cannot score more than 6 marks. So suppose he scores 6 marks in question 2 also. So we need to put 6 dot in question 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and suppose he scores 4 marks in question 3. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 3 marks in question 4. 1, 2, 3 and 3 marks in question 5. 1, 2, 3 
एंड टू मार्क्स इन क्वेश्चन सिक्स वन टू एंड सपोज दिस पॉइंट इज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस पॉइंट इज पॉइंट बी सो कैन आई से डेट वी नीड टू फाइंड डी पार्ट फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड वी नीड टू कंसिडर वन ने डाउन स्टेप एंड राइट स्टेप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस द पार्थ विन बी डाउन स्टेप एंड देन राइट स्टेप एंड देन डाउन स्टेप देन राइट स्टेप डाउन स्टेप राइट स्टेप एंड डाउन स्टेप राइट स्टेप एंड डाउन स्टेप सो दिस इज द पार्थ इन दिस पार्थ इकोनर केस and every part that we get by one knee down step and a right step will be the answer so we need to find how many part we can get by one knee down step and a right step so we have 10 down step 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we have six right step One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have ten down step and six right step. And we need to find the total number of ways in which we can arrange these ten down step and six right step. So the total number of step is ten plus six, that is sixteen. So we get sixteen factorial by we have ten down step and a six right step. So we need to divide it by ten factorial into six factorial, and it is sixteen c six or sixteen c ten. So it is the answer.